Hi, I've created this video to help show how easy it is to install the Smart Alarm conversion board alongside your old alarm system. This demonstration unit I've created has all of the components in a standard alarm installation. First of all you have your old alarm system control panel. Then we have an external bell box or siren. Also an internal siren a door or window sensor and a motion sensor. In this video I'm going to walk you through all of the steps involved to convert this old unit to a smart alarm. Let's take a look at our old alarm control panel. This unit is a Texacom unit which is fully connected. Before you remove the cover switch off the power this is important for safety reasons as the unit will carry AC power which can shock. Now we've removed the panel's cover, let's have a look inside for the model number. This is often displayed on the circuit board. Let's zoom in. So on the circuit board we can see that this is a Texacom D012901 unit. The first thing we need to do is to go to Google and search for the Texcom D0129.01 installation manual and download it on PDF onto your PC. This is an extremely useful reference for the installation and it will explain to you what each of the terminals does. You can see here that we've downloaded the manual and it shows each of the terminals including all the labels and also a reference table which describes what each of the terminals does. It also shows all of the fuse values and locations in case the fuse blows and some information about how the external sounder and strobe are wired to your system. Let's have a look at some key things within this unit. Each alarm system will be slightly different, but overall they're quite similar. This is the AC power. We have no AC changes to make in this project, so we can stay away from the AC terminals. And make sure you power off the unit before you open the panel. Next we have the battery. You can check the health of your battery. When you remove the mains power, if the unit stays powered on, it's because the battery is working. If the unit doesn't stay on, it's because the battery is faulty. You can also test it with a multimeter. This battery is actually faulty and needs to be replaced, otherwise the system won't work in a power cut. If we have a look at our manual, we can see that all of the terminals are labelled. We've got several terminals that need to be explored and understood before we make our connections. These are your power terminals within the unit. They show the battery connections and the power connections to your circuit board. We don't need to worry about these for our installation. Next we have the external bell box connectors. We'll look at these in more detail. This section of connectors is for a loudspeaker, some auxiliary power wires which are key to our installation, and the tamper wires which we'll use as a separate zone on our conversion board. Here we have the zones Z1, Z2, Z3 etc. And at the end we have the keypad connectors. We won't be using a keypad going forward but I'll reuse this cable for an internal sounder. We also have many cables to investigate. Here we have a cable of six wires which goes to the external siren. This next cable of six wires goes to the motion sensor. It has two power wires, green and white. It has two sensor wires, black and red. And it has two tamper wires, blue and yellow.
This cable of six wires goes to the remote keypad carrying power and signals. We won't, won't be using it, so we'll use it for something else. Here we have a second sensor cable. This only has red and black sensor wires and blue and yellow tamper wires. It doesn't have power, so it's a door sensor. The blue and yellow cables from each sensor are wired together in a continuous loop which goes to the tamper terminals on the board. This is useful because it tells us if any of the sensors have been disconnected. So let's summarize. We've looked at the installation of the existing alarm panel. We've downloaded the manual. We've looked at the terminals. We understand what each of the wires now does and we're ready to go ahead with the installation. In our installation we'll only use a few of the wires we've looked at, so don't be daunted if you don't fully understand how your existing system works. Let's move on to the next video and get installed.